when you're bored on spring break but honestly you don't have to be bored or on spring break to do any of these things I just came up with some ideas for you guys to try out if you're having a bored day or if you just have a free day and you want to try something new try these out they were so much fun also I'm really excited because this video is in partnership with Skype and I absolutely love Skype I've worked with them before they gave me that giant unicorn during the holidays and I love them so much and another really awesome thing that Skype has is group chats or basically just a big group messaging system and that includes a video messaging where you can just drop videos straight into the chat which is so so cool and then there's also file sharing picture sharing and screen sharing I think my absolute favorite part is the fact that you can take this all on the go also I'm gonna be doing a group chat with you guys on a specific time and date and I will leave that all down below so check it out come join the group chat with me we can talk about a bunch of fun things and it'll be lots of fun so I hope you guys try out these ideas that I have for you they were so much fun and I had so much fun filming this video if you like it be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already if you haven't what are you doing come on please go right down there and yeah let's get started. All right guys, so for my first idea, it is to explore new places. And I know what you're thinking, Remy, everybody knows that already, that's super easy. But trust me, when you're on your butt, watching Netflix, you're binge watching Fuller House or whatever just came out, you are not gonna wanna get up, but just push yourself, get up and go explore someplace new and you're gonna have so much fun. On this day, I was meeting up with my friend Tara to explore the beach. We see all these really cute beaches on Instagram, so we thought we'd check them out. And my best friend Steph really wanted to come with us, but she had to stay home, unfortunately, but what's so awesome about Skype is that I was able to do a group video call and bring stuff along as we explored. So I had so much fun going out and exploring and I'm so glad that I was able to bring Steph along with me even though she couldn't be there in person. I absolutely love the fact that I'm able to video call multiple people at the same time. It's so much fun and you guys can download the Skype mobile app and it's awesome to take on the go. I'm wearing with your eyes closed you wouldn't know me I'm better so different forgive you but I my next idea for you guys is to go have a photo shoot with your friends. I'm still really new to the whole photo shoot world and I feel really, really, really awkward in front of the camera, but once you let go and you let loose, it is so much fun to do and you feel so beautiful and you feel like you're on top of the world and I love it. And what I like most about it is that you don't need a really nice camera and you don't need to be in some beautiful location. You can just grab your phone and head out onto the street and take some really awesome pics and on the bright side, you get to take some really awesome Instagrams and your Instagram will be amazing and it's a really great creative outlet at the same time. My next idea for you guys is to experience something new and this is very vague but for me I am a foodie I love food and I love trying new foods and going new places so this day Tara and I went over to a place called Malibu Farm and it is so beautiful it's right on Malibu's pier so the weather is so nice it was a little bit chilly this day and the food is super fresh and it's gorgeous it is seriously perfect to take pictures of which I know sounds really stupid but it really was it's just so aesthetically pleasing and it was so delicious and absolutely amazing so if you're in the Malibu area I highly recommend recommend checking this out and I absolutely loved it. Another really cool place that I tried out in Malibu was called Paradise Cove. They have awesome drinks and I'm not just saying to go out and try any food, which you guys should totally try new foods. It's amazing, but you can also just go and experience something new that you've never had before, whether it's a museum or like a place or something. I absolutely love that idea. Another idea that I had for you guys was to try a new DIY project, which we all know I love a good DIY project. So I thought I would show you guys how to make these cute little confetti popper things. I saw them in Urban Outfitters and they were $18 and that is ridiculous. So I thought I would show you how to make your own. All you need is just some confetti, some tissue paper, and then these little cake pop mold things. I got these at the craft store, but you can also find them at the grocery store. 
So these little guys are so incredibly easy to make, seriously, like you won't even believe me. All you have to do is just take some scissors and cut up your tissue paper into tiny little confetti-sized pieces like this. I also recommend maybe doing it on a plate of some sort so you don't have a huge mess to clean up. And once you're done, it should look something like this. Then all that's left to do is just go ahead and fill up your little cake pop with some confetti, pop the top on, and you are ready to go. And when you're ready to use it, just take the top off and then push up and it is done. Also just saying a really cute biodegradable version would be to fill it up with some dried up flower petals. And last but not least, my last idea would be to try a new activity. And for me, I wanted to try some beach yoga. Personally, I've never actually taken a yoga class or anything, but I learned some online and I thought it looked really cool and really fun. And now I really want to go take a yoga class. So whether it's like paddle boarding or anything like that, I highly recommend trying it out because it's really fun and it's also great to get outside and exercise. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, be sure to download Skype right down there. I'll have the link down there for you to do so. It is so awesome and so easy to take on the go. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!